And you're gonna say yo. Stay tuned and enjoy. This is the outfit I'm going for today. Hello, my name is Ogechi Adasan Naji. Welcome back to Gay Gay Season 2, Episode 5. And in this episode, it's a get to know me episode. So you're gonna get to know a lot about me, but here is the twist. So I decided to ask myself, okay, what do I want to tell the people about me? And I realized that I'm at the stage again in my life that I asked myself, what do I want? I want them to know me, but like, what do I want with this? I want them to know me, but like, what do I want? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about myself while I ask I also answer the question what do I want? A lot of my viewers I realize that it's a question you get you also ask yourself at some point in your life. So I want something for you in this episode. So if you're asking yourself, if you are within the ages of 17 to 24, you're probably gonna be asking yourself what do I want to do with my life? Where am I going from here? What's what what's what am I going to do? What am I gonna do? What to get, what to get? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so this is gonna be helpful for you, so stay tuned and watch this video. Okay, so when I was in SS3, I asked myself what do I want to do in my life. At that point, I went straight to self-help books to ask like advice on what I want to do with my life. And I went to a book called The Master and Mastery by Robert Greene to ask myself, okay, what do I want to do with my life? So he the master must have Robert Green advised that you have to go back to your childhood days and ask yourself like what were the things that interested you when you were a child. You have to ask your parents and people who were around you when you were young that oh what was it because like that was the time when what you really wanted to do, your purpose in life was strong. So then my purpose in life was strong and I wanted to like I loved artistic things when I was younger. I loved I loved thinking outside the box. My mom for next an example, my mom told me that when I was young, when uh, um, uh, swing broke, I put a log in it. I just thought of that. And she was like, oh my god, this girl is so smart, she's just a scientist. <laughs> anyway, so when you, when you go back, you're gonna search that or you ask yourself, okay, this is what I did when I was younger, maybe this is purposeful to my like, being when I am older. Okay, that's one. Two, so you're gonna ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? How do you describe yourself matters? So for me, my name is Ogechi Hadassah Naji. I am colorful, I am gentle, I am loving, and I'm funny. If you don't know, now you know, I'm funny. I'm also a very, I reflect a lot. When I'm talking to people, I reflect. So if you're giving me a bad attitude, a bad time, and you're not warm, also, that's also important. You have to be warm. I'm a warm person, but you have to be warm. If you come up to me with some warm attitude, I will give you warm attitude. But if you, if I'm feeling like a really dark storm around you, like closed balls, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm just gonna know that. But, if, but I have courage. So if I really do need to, I will go there. That's something also that I have. A lot of people don't courage to do things that they're lot they're afraid to do. Yeah. I'm doing like right now. I'm recording in class, and somebody walked in. Person probably laughing behind, but like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. So number two, that's like who I am as a person. What do I like? I've said this over and over again. I like artistic things. I am an artistic person. If you're not talking to me like someone who who's like selling art, I probably won't understand you. Yeah, you have to have that nature in you. And that supposed to really connect as people. I'm not saying that I will come and start hating you because you're not artistic. I'm just saying that like I like artistic people. I like artistic things, and that's just why I'm like that. I like Sabrina Carpenter. I like Ariana Grande. I like people that I have some sense of like deepness to them. If you're not deep, no, no, no. And what value do I get from you? I'm very stingy with giving out, so like, if I'm if I'm not getting anything, even like happiness or company, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave and say goodbye. Okay, then like you have to also study like what you like about people because a lot of times you just accept things in your life because you're just like okay, that's what everybody thinks, that's what everybody wants. But you need to ask yourself, do I want that? And why do I want that? Those questions are important. I also ask myself that. 
so as to get to know myself better, so as to understand what I want. And you can see the encouragement gives it here. Then lastly, you have to also understand your purpose. Like I've said earlier, you go back to your childhood, you ask yourself, what did I do? What did I do when I was younger? And what am I doing now that really satisfies me as a human being? And that I can control myself and I have discipline enough to like fulfill that in my life. A lot of people, a lot of times, like right now, recently I've been watching like Game of Thrones and stuff, and I see like her purpose in life is to be a journalist since she was young, and then she was able to achieve that with a lot of discipline, a lot of nights in the library. Like she found fun in it. So you, you as a person, you also have to, have to, you have to be able to like tell yourself, do I enjoy being like under a lot of hardship when I'm trying to achieve a goal. Like for filming, I remember when I was running around doing a project for my school. Nobody forced me to do this thing. I was the one who said this idea must I must fulfill this idea. Like right now because of, I must fulfill this idea. I, this thing I must edit it and bring it by Friday. Like by tomorrow which is my birthday anyway. So, yeah. yeah I I made sure I forced myself to do that thing and honestly as much as it was a hard thing to do I enjoyed it and if you can't enjoy your hardship I don't think you really like to be where you are so you have to sit down and say okay would I would I love working in this position in this position right now and achieve my goal like do I like the um, do I like the hardship before the results do you get because a lot of people just think about the results people don't really think about the hardship behind the results so you have to sit down and say if I want to do this would I enjoy that hardship today and me personally I Whenever I think about that, it brings back to the end of my life, and I hope it does to you as well. So, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Yeah, I'm tired, and I will see you guys next time. I don't know when I'll bring back another episode. Maybe I'll bring back another episode next week. Yeah, yeah, next week I'll probably have another episode ready for you guys. But yeah, this has been lovely. Bye bye. Good night. And say happy birthday to me in the comments. Tomorrow is the day. Bye bye. And you're gonna say yo. Stay tuned and enjoy. This is the outfit I'm going for today. Hello, my name is Okechi Adasan Naji. Welcome back to Gay Gay Season 2, Episode 5. And in this episode, it's a get to know me episode. So you're gonna get to know a lot about me, but here is the twist. So. I decided to ask myself, okay, what do I want to tell these people about me? And I realized that I'm at the stage again in my life that I ask myself, what do I want? Like, I want them to know me, but like, what do I want with this? I want them to know me, but like, what do I want? <laughs> I'm going to tell you about myself while I ask, I also answer the question, what do I want? A lot of my viewers, I realized that it's a question you get you also ask yourself at some point in your life, so I want something for you with this episode. So, if you're asking yourself, if you are within the ages of 17 to 24, you're probably going to be asking yourself, what do I want to do with my life? Where am I going from here? What, 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 what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What to get, what to get? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so this is going to be helpful for you, so stay tuned and watch this video. Okay, so... When I was in SS3, I asked myself, what do I want to do with my life? At that point, I went straight to self-help books to ask like, advice on what I want to do with my life. And I went to a book called The Master uh, Mastery by Robert Greene to ask myself, okay, what do I want to do with my life? So he, the master mathem Robert Greene, advised that you have to go back to your childhood days and ask yourself, like, what were the things that interested in you? when you were a child, you have to ask your parents and people who were around you when you were young that oh what was it because like, that was the time when what you really wanted to do, your purpose in life was strong so then my purpose in life was strong and I wanted to like, I loved artistic things when I was younger I loved, I loved thinking outside of the box my mom for an ex example, my mom told me that when I was young when uh, um, uh, swing broke, I put a log in it I just thought of that and she was like, oh my god, this girl is so smart, she's just a scientist. <laughs> anyway, so when you, when you go back, you 
you're gonna search that or you ask yourself okay this is what i did when i was younger maybe this is purposeful to my like being when i am older okay that's one two you're gonna ask yourself who am i who am i how do you describe yourself matters so for me my name is ogeji hadasa Naji. i am colorful i am gentle i am loving and i'm funny if you don't know now you know i'm funny I'm also a very, I reflect a lot. When I'm talking to people, I reflect. So if you're giving me a bad attitude, a bad time, and you're not warm, also, that's also important. You have to be warm. I'm a warm person, but you have to be warm. If you come up to me with some warm attitude, I will give you warm attitude. But if you, if I'm feeling like a really dark stone around you, like closed walls, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm just gonna know that. But, if, but I have courage. So if I really do need to, I will go there. That's something also that you know, I have a lot of people don't. courage to do things that they're lot they're afraid to do. Yeah. And like right now I'm recording a class and somebody walked in, pressed probably laughing behind. But like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. So number two, that's like who I am as a person. What do I like? I've said it over and over again. I like artistic things. I am an artistic person. If you're not talking to me like someone who who's like selling art, I probably won't understand you. Yeah, you have to have that nature in you and that force to really connect as people. I'm not saying that I'll come and start hating you because you're yeah, not artistic. I'm just saying that like I like artistic people, I like artistic things and that's just why I'm like that. I like Sabrina Kapenta, I like Ariana Grande, I like people that I have some sense of like deepness to them. If you're not deep, no, no, no. And what value do I get from you? I'm very stingy with giving out. So like, if I'm if I'm not getting anything, even like happiness or company, I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna leave and say bye. Okay. Then like you have to also study like what you like about people because a lot of times you just accept things in your life because you said okay, that's what everybody thinks, that's what everybody wants. But you need to ask yourself, do I want that? And why do I want that? Those questions are important. I also ask myself that. So I have to get to know myself better. So I have to understand what I want. And you can see that you catch my gifts here. Yeah. Then lastly, you have to also understand your purpose. Like I said earlier, you go back to your childhood, ask yourself, what do I do? What did I do when I was younger? And what am I doing now that really satisfies me and me? And that I can control myself and I have discipline enough to like fulfill that in my life. A lot of people, a lot of times, like right now, recently I've been watching like Game of Thrones and stuff, and I see like her purpose in life is to be a journalist since she was young, and then she was able to achieve that with a lot of discipline, a lot of nights in the library. Like she found fun in it. So you, you as a person, you also have to have, you have to be able to like tell yourself, do I enjoy being like under a lot of hardship? when I'm trying to achieve a goal, like for filming, I remember when I was running around doing a project for my school, nobody forced me to do this thing, I was the one who said this idea must, I must fulfill this idea, like right now because of, I must fulfill this idea, this thing I must edit it and bring it by Friday, like by tomorrow which is my birthday anyway, so yeah, yeah I, I made sure I forced myself to do that thing and honestly as much as it was a hard thing to do, I enjoyed it and if you can't enjoy your hardship I don't think you really like to be where you are so you have to sit down and say okay would I would I love working in this position in this position right now and achieve my goal like do I like the um, do I like the hardship before the results do you get because a lot of people just think about the results people don't really think about the hardship behind the results so you have to sit down and say if I want to do this, would I enjoy that hardship today? And me, personally, I, whenever I think about that, it brings back to the end of my life. And I hope it does to you as well. So, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Yeah, I'm tired and I will see you guys next time. I don't know when I'll bring back another episode. Maybe I'll bring back another episode next, maybe next week. Okay, yeah, 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 next week I'll probably have another episode ready for you guys. But yeah. This has been lovely. Bye bye. Good night. And say happy birthday to me in the comments. Tomorrow is the day. Yeah. Bye bye.
拜拜，拜拜，拜拜。